everyone. Today I want to talk a little bit about this great trombone that Edward's made for me. It's a small bass. It has a, about a nine inch bell, single valve, and um, regular bass slide. It's a single bore bass slide. I actually am using a, a large tenor lead pipe, so it's not a bass trombone lead pipe. But this is the horn I use when we're doing Mozart. Last week I did the Haydn creation on it, and it works really well for small stuff. I'm fortunate that I have this one, and I like using it in the orchestra for when the trombones go to alto on the first part or anything that's from a certain period of music, Schubert, Schumann, Mozart, uh, Beethoven, Beethoven, nine's great on this horn. It's got a red bell. Um, I think it's solid. And one of the things about it is it, it automatically changes your mentality. When I'm playing this horn, I don't try and make it sound like the horn that I usually play. It just can't do that. So I automatically tone things down, get a little bit smaller, more compact sound, lighter sound. Um, which works really well for these pieces and I think it's a great advantage to have this and not have to take the same hammer into work when I'm working with Wagner the other horn is great but for the creation this is a really good horn I wanted to play a little bit of the Haydn creation this is one of my favorite sections that is not on auditions but it's very hard to play uh, I'll see if I can show it to you eh, can you see that my technology uh, ability is very bad but um, this is a section that doesn't get asked on auditions. The other famous part is hard, but this is just as hard in a different way. So let me play a little bit of it. section it's a totally different thing than the other well not totally different it's quite a bit different than the section that gets asked all the time everyone's very familiar with that that's hard enough in its own way and one thing I'll mention um, again I really love this horn there's the horn and me at the same time how wonderful uh, there are people that I've heard try and play this piece and they start using the D with both valves in first position, uh, don't be so lazy, move the slide. It really makes a difference if you play it. Sometimes there are things you can get away with that'll make life easier by using a valve or two valves. Not this piece. Uh, the people that played this back in the day, they didn't have all the modern conveniences we have. And I think you're better off just remembering that you're a trombone player, you have a slide, you use it. Don't always look for some shortcut that's gonna make it like easier and give up something on the sound end because I don't think you can play a D in the middle of the staff with two valves and sound the same as if you're playing in fourth position. I don't think it's possible, I really don't, but that's just my opinion for what it's worth. So uh, if you listen to this whole long four minute almost um, diatribe, thank you. And if you uh, tune into uh, the Edwards web pages, lots of videos they're posting. This is just hopefully one of many. I hope you get something out of it. Look for a smaller or different horn when you're going to play Mozart Requiem or uh, something like that on bass drum. Don't take that tank in uh, that works for uh, Strauss and Wagner and think that one size fits all because it doesn't. If you're lucky, try something else and lighten up your sound. The um, conductor and your colleagues will appreciate it. And if they don't, well, you'll enjoy it. That's all that matters. Thank you. Everest trombones.